we're out here at our latest camping outing with the latest acquisition, which is the Kodiak Canvas Truck Tent. It's installed right here on my Ford F-150 short truck bed. So I got a few clips of uh, previous outings. I'm here today with my five-year-old, so we're just gonna try this out. Worked out great. And uh, I got a few clips of the install and some of the things that's not 100% because I have a few truck accessories that might change things a little bit, but here we go. Awesome voice over time. So first question is, how much room does this take all packed up? Here we have a three foot duffel bag size for the canvas and a four foot size bag for the hardware, typical Kodiak canvas packaging. And when we are going to get set up, here's our support rails on top of the truck bed. If you have accessories like tunnel covers or toolboxes, this is pretty much what you have to deal with. Here I have a little bit of gap between my truck bed and my back rack. So I put a little bit of pipe insulation in between the two. The a little bit so it's not a hundred percent perfect fit and i'll talk about that a little bit later of course read the instructions they're pretty good let's assemble the hardware we have the front and back awnings and our three support arches we lay down the tent in the back of our truck bed we climb in and we simply start by putting in the middle support and it's just very easy just put it in the hole do the front and the back and we should end up something like this you can put the awnings here in a second i usually thread the rods first and once we're done to me this is like a fitted bed sheet the tailgate end we fit it underneath gets nice and tight and aligned and we just drape the other end and this is what it looks like all set up should give us about five feet of clearance of course i got the deck so i have one foot less so I got four feet of clearance and here I have a little bit of fabric on the front because of the uh, back rack so I have those clamps and because of the wide door I have access to both of my drawers so it's really good if you have a drawer system and you should end up with something looking like this now this is the tent model that accommodates five to six foot truck bed so you will have a little bit of extra material on the front so let's climb up here and show you how the front and back walls kind of angle in hence why we need this awning covers quite a bit of room now let's take a little better look at our back rack accessory you can see with the uprights being more on the inner I can have access to the corners, but I have a little bit of segment that I can't wrap the tent around the truck bed. But it will be really curious to see how this works out in rain. So far, it's been working out great. Not really a problem. And here's another view of the back awning. Nice and big. Really nice. Our sleep setup, basically here, I have a little bin, thermarest, base camp, large, and some blankets. Here it is diagonal, but I can sleep straight because I had the little bin as a little bit of extender. Notice where I put the rods here because I'm on the short truck bed, a little bit further back than what it is on the larger truck beds. And uh, this is a, this basically is the setup, the sleeping setup. And I put a little bit of LED light strip here for illumination at night. You can see how that works really good, especially when you're outside gives a nice little bit of a glow and of course this is why we want to get this tent to enjoy the outdoors and if it is getting a little bit cold i'm not into running propane heaters inside uh, the tent unless to get the chill out uh, before i get in but you can get yourself one of these little personal heaters for 20 dollars. i got this honeywell heat bud 850 btus really small plugs in creates a nice buffer for outside and inside like i said i haven't experienced it in rain yet but i was in a very stiff wind you can see here it performed fantastic this tent is a solid really like it and of course when you tear things down once you have all the straps kind of set up just give yourself enough slack so that you can just undo the clips and then you just fold everything you could be really sloppy when you're folding things it will fit inside the provided bag so I've been so far really happy with this tent. It's a great opportunity for me to go solo camping very late season or early season. Uh, it's good stuff. Put down in the comments what you think, and we'll talk to you guys next time.